In this video, I want to share with you four tips that I have learned and that have helped me sharpening mower blades on the All-American Sharpener. First one is what to do when it feels like you're not getting enough angle. The tool maxes out at 45 degrees, and if it feels like you're not, that's not enough, there's a way you can work with that. Uh, second thing was uh, what, how do you handle a wide variety of thicknesses of blades? Another one was a quick way for a blade thickness, a blade height adjustment so, uh, in the clamp. And the last one was uh, just a quick tip on uh, speeding up the changing the screw in and out. All right, yo, my name is Matt and uh, I run a, a, a small sharpening service, uh, an artisanal sharpening service in Lee, New Hampshire, the American Edge. And I'm a host at the Guild of Professional Sharpeners, which is a community of knife and tool sharpening business owners. Um, and I've been, uh, I've been using, I, I started out sharpening mower blades. Like at first I started out sharpening residential cutlery. People asked if I do mower blades. I, I grew into that by doing them by hand. And I realized that I needed, um, as I learned more about sharpening, I needed a way to hold that angle and to get professional results on mower blades. Uh, and the, the right entry place for me in that market was the All-American Sharpener. Uh, so I've been using it for several years now, uh, and I'm still using it, and it's great. Uh, so I wanted to share some, some tips that I have learned on this machine. Y yo, and uh, in case you missed last week's video, I just want to make sure you know that I will be giving one of these away uh, at the end of May 2022. So to be entered into that drawing, become a member of the Guild of Professional Sharpeners in May, and you'll automatically be entered. That is at guildofsharpeners.org. Okay, first I'm gonna assume you, you know a little bit about this machine, but uh, so I have a mower blade clamped up in here now. Uh, the angle control is back here and you, you can adjust the angle like this, right? And it maxes out at 45 degrees right there. Um, it has happened on occasion where you go to put your grinder on here and you, you touch the bevel and you're not getting it yet. Meaning like you're, you're, the grinder is hitting on the shoulder and not reaching the edge. So that might want you to like, you'd want to ask for more angle, um, but there isn't more to get. So how do you handle that? There's a couple things you can do. First off, I reached out to Denny about this and, and they, they checked that mower blades like the manufacturers don't make them with a greater than 45 degree angle. So some things going on, and I believe that, uh, some things that are possibilities there is that somebody sharpened it before by hand and it went to an angle that was not factory. Uh, another option could be that the mower blade hit something and is bent. Um, and so you'll probably, I feel like I've seen some of those. Um, but still, like if you still want to try to match that angle, so right, one solution is just grind it at, you know, 45 degrees, put a new bevel on there, no, nothing wrong with that. Uh, another option could be, uh, so when you, this is designed so that the, the center of the wheel should be at the edge, center of the wheel at the edge. What you can do is cheat over a little bit, so you can adjust this screw right here, back this out and you, as you slide your grinder this way, you get a, you get a, um, a, it would be a steeper angle, right? And if you come this way on the blade, you'll get a more shallow angle. So it's designed and, you know, mathematically figured out so that it's, the, the wheel should be centered. You can cheat a little bit, slide this over to get a little bit more there. All right, and if you're still, if you still like are determined that you wanna get that angle, what you can do is loosen this up a little bit and, and shim, this, shim this side up. So you back these up, stick a quarter or something in there, and uh, you can shim your blade up a little bit to get even a little more. You shouldn't have to do that uh, or just be, you know, have some confidence in grinding it at the angle that, that you get. But those are some things you can explore if you need to, if you feel like you want to get more angle out of this. Okay, the next thing we just need to call attention to is right, right now I have a relatively wide mower blade in this jig. Uh, so uh, what about like when you get a, a narrow one? And I just want to make sure you know, like you can, you can back this out. All right, that's relatively wide. And this clamp here can be spun around. So I'll just show you for the interest of it. If 
Back this all the way out. You can spin this around, send it back in the other way, and now you can get a much more narrow mower blade clamped in there. Right, so the, the clamping screws are just favored to one side. Pretty clever, nice job guys. That should, I've never not been able to clamp a mower blade in here. Okay, the next thing is um, a lot of mower, like mower, there's so many mower blades, man. Uh, Sometimes, this is actually, a re, it's, it seems thick, but it's actually relatively narrow uh, on the jig. Sometimes they're thicker than that. Um, and the tool has nice versatility to grab any thickness uh, material by the use of these uh, shoulder screws. Um, what I have done, which you probably have seen by now, is, is put wing nuts on the ends of these, right? Because they're designed to have an Allen tool in there, and I found that my going back and forth to my uh, toolbox to get the Allen tool was becoming a big enough of a nuisance so that I wanted a different solution. Uh, I started by epoxying these wing nuts on here. What I like about this too is with the wing nut, it's still a hole through. So if in the event you did need to get a tool on it, you could. Uh, but the epoxy solution, I dropped a couple and um, they, sh they snapped off, right? So the epoxy is not strong enough. So what I ended up doing um, was tack welding them together. So, uh, th and this is a nice, easy solution. Sometimes if you're mounting a blade like this, this little wing gets in the way, but you can just make it go that way and getting a blade in and out is easy. Uh, so that is, uh, that's a nice little hot tip for you to try out. All right, and uh, the last one for you is like, sometimes it's nice to get a little more speed going in and out on this tool. So what I ended up doing here, this was this, um, uh, an idea that I actually got from Denny at All American, uh, was to put this, I just put a dowel rod in there. So I just drilled a quarter inch hole through the, through the driver and then put a quarter inch dowel in there. If it, it still moves a little bit, it doesn't, if it gets sloppy, I'll just put a piece of like electrical tape on it and put it back in there around the, around the diameter. But anyway, that's a, that's a nice little feature. Nice little trick. Uh, I hope those little tips and tricks help you get the most out of your all American mower blade sharpener. Uh, just a reminder, I'm doing a whole series of videos uh, with this tool uh, for the month of May. So make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up before you go. And lastly, uh, again, just a reminder, I will be giving one of these away and to get entered into that drawing, become a member of the Guild of Professional Sharpeners during the month of May, 2022. Good luck, thanks so much. If you implement any of these, let me know. Leave a comment below the video, appreciate it.